the moment that we had to close Sentosa's beaches, we needed to think about ways that we could uh, stay relevant to people, particularly at a time where we couldn't actually invite anyone back onto the island, but also at a time where people were feeling ever more claustrophobic as they were trapped at home, their sense of wonder and adventure was being chipped away at. So there's this overwhelming fear of travel FOMO that actually we could really, really kind of tap into and find a way uh, to appease that. But importantly, we needed to maintain visibility because this would be crucial to recovery. So as soon as people were able to come back and visit again, they would think of Sentosa and want to come and visit Sentosa. So the efforts were far less about a deliberate attempt to get into gaming, uh, but actually more of a, a creative solution to a problem, which was, you know, in the instance that people can come and visit, how do we bring the best of Sentosa into people's homes from the safety of their sofa? Um, and how do we recreate experiences that allow people to engage with Sentosa in an entirely kind of virtual manner?